Pursuant to the requirements of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, notice of this meeting was published in the June 2, 2016 issue of the Nutley Sun. A copy of this notice has been posted on the Nutley Town Hall Bulletin Board, and a copy is on file in the Municipal Clerk's Office. Commissioner Rogers? Here. Commissioner Tucci? Here. Commissioner Evans? Here. Commissioner Petraco? Here. Mayor Scorpelli? Here. All present, Mayor. I have um, an ordinance introduction to the room for parking, and I have one resolution. Um, just an assignment of volunteer fire um, firefighter. <laughs> Grant money is received for, road, for ordinance introduction, roadway improvements on Harrison Street, uh, and I have uh, four resolutions. Um, one is for exemption from tax, uh, the other two are for refunds for overpayments. The last is uh, the state hasn't approved yet uh, their, their state budget, the revenue stream against their state budget. I'm just holding up the uh, certification of the uh, tax rate, and they have to do estimated bills. So, in anticipation of that, the resolution authorizing us to potentially issue an estimated bill for the first quarter. That's all I have. Mr. Rogers. I have two resolutions and one matter I'd like to uh, discuss with the board. Uh, one resolution is uh, mental, mental Health Week. The other resolution is an emergency award of assignment and assumption of contract for solid waste, bulk waste, vegetative waste, and white goods collection services to the town. The matter I'd like to uh, <coughs> bring to the attention of the board is if we could, over the next uh, several weeks, is review our parking ordinance with regard to commercial vehicles. Uh, we have, in the course of my attention, that we've got a number of homeowners who now own small businesses, and they have uh, vehicles, commercial vehicles, the size of vans, that they have to park out of town. They're paying for spaces out of town. They're parking in Belleville and Cliff, and they're coming back from up. Uh, so I've just asked that we look at this uh, regulation. Right now, they're restricted from parking between the hours of 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. And I realize that there's you know size limitations. Well, that's the overnight they, parking. No, yeah, uh, yeah. They they cannot. It says here that commercial vehicles shall not be permitted to be parked within the PRD between the hours of 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. Isn't there a weight limit on that? I thought that my recollection was it's over a certain tonnage. There is. There is a weight standard. Yes. I don't know what the standard is. Yeah, there's, there's or what that is. Yeah, it's here. But, but it's something that if we could look at and, and maybe uh, somehow assist them uh, with this. Well, the only thing I like to add is that if we're going to look at that, it's not for overnight parking, it's just to make arrangements for that. So, in other words, if you have an electrician or a plumber, they, a have, driveway. they have a van in a driveway that's lighter. Your request is, so I understand it, is that we're going to try to make an amendment to the ordinance to allow them to yes. park a, a van like. Yeah, the carpenters. Yeah. Why wouldn't this yeah. be a referral to the planning board? Because it's be. under zoning and it's the master plan of the town as to what they, how they want, they view the town and how they view the, what we want to present as a town. So there's always been a restriction relating to commercial vehicles because they didn't want to park in the driveways because neighbors who weren't in commercial businesses didn't like having a commercial vehicle as in their neighbor's yard. So it's been a long-standing thing, but I think if you're going to look at it, I would suggest that it gets referred to the planning board for them to review as part of their review of the ordinance. Okay, how would I do it? A letter to the town clerk for the procedure? I think we could, we could do that for the clerk's office. Right okay, there. all right. I'll send you a letter with the concerns. Sure. Okay, all right. Thank you, Commissioner. That's it. Okay. Very good. So, I, I just want to understand. So, you want, you're looking to allow folks who have commercial vehicles that are prohibited from parking in their driveways right now, you're looking for relief for them, for them yes. so that they can. Yes. So that their utility vehicles and their small dump trucks and. Yes, the vans. That's so why I just want yes. to. Well, I don't, I don't, it's not I just vans. I don't think it's vans. Yeah. No, no. Understood. It's that there's weight limits. Vehicles. We don't have dump trucks in there, etc. That's where it's, yeah, like it's a slippery slope. Sometimes. Yeah, I, I hear. I hear yeah, I think we should, I think maybe before you send that, maybe we should get a clarification on on what that is because my understanding, and I need to correct me differently, was that it was for larger vehicles and the purpose was 
to, to maintain the residential character of the town That's so that good. we don't have that and we don't have you know ca uh, the, the front ends of tractor trailers parking in, in driveways. So yeah, that's a, that's I, I, I can appreciate what you're asking, but uh, I agree. I think we need to be careful. Whole, the weight thing comes. Yeah. Yeah. There was a whole debate uh, on that uh, around for years, and it's come up before yeah. uh, around that ordinance, particular ordinance, because where do you stop it? Yeah. What size vehicle um, is? You know, we have a, we the ordinance doesn't it restricts having trucks with commercial vehicles with like large lettering on the outside, right? right? Uh, it restricts having a commercial plate, right. right? If it's open to a residential plate, you can have a van right. as a residential plate, but if it's a commercial plate, you can't. Yeah, and you can't. It's like 37,000 gross vehicle weight, and, has to, and if it's lettered, it's prohibited from being There's in the There's a whole criteria. Lot. Jack, it's less than 37? What is it, you know? It's not 37,000, that's a big truck. Yeah. No, no, I, that's I sticking in my that. mind for some yeah. reason, though. I, I don't know what that number is. But yeah. well, I appreciate I just, those concerns. Yeah, they, my, they, my sense is the other board has discussed that yeah, thoroughly for years. But it would be, I think they should, you know, reckon, because of obviously changes that are occurring in the town, they should go back and revisit it. I don't think it's something that we should. That's a good point. We should be trying to solve on our own. And they're, that's their job. Okay. Is it is it regarding the ordinance regarding? Commercial license plates, period, or is it so? In other words, I think this wraps yeah. up all of that. Uh, it's not just so weight or this. It's just it's all part of the code. So if somebody had um, magnets, but they had a commercial plate instead of letter in their truck and had magnets put on, is that a violation because they have a commercial plate on the truck like the van? Or? So as I understand it, and I, 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 I didn't memorize this thing. If it's a, if it has a commercial plate on it. Yeah, that's an issue. If it's a commercial, if it's a commercial plate under Step a certain a size, a that may not be an issue. And it's not good. Again, it's only in my memory. If it was parked in the garage, it wasn't any big deal. Yeah. Right. You can park it in the garage, but not in the driveway. And, and yes, this yeah. comes up. I mean, there's, there's, I'm sure there's people, there's vehicles that are commercial in nature that are parked in the garage on their property. Right? The neighbors don't complain because they don't see it. Right. But if it's something that says I'm going to put, you know, a vehicle in my garage and hide it, and then I'm going to park two other vehicles around my garage because now my business is growing, right? And it says, okay, I can do this. That's when the neighbors start to say, you know, this is a business in a residential neighborhood because a lot of those are small businesses. Yes. So uh, it's just a few. So if I could just add to this, what, what I would recommend going to the planning board because I think, like the mayor said, it's a slippery yeah. slope. If maybe you adjust the language to say, I know a lot of people, they went to magnetic yeah. decals on their trucks rather than paint them, and I think that's what the residents frown upon. So maybe if you could, we could lift the change the ordinance with the respect to the commercial license plate, as long as the truck's not lettered, and then they could use magnets on their vehicles when they go to work, and maybe 